one of the most basic forms of troubleshooting that has been around for pretty much almost as long as Windows has been around, is the idea of booting Windows into something called safe mode. Now safe mode is something where Windows is boot into a very basic state using very limited files and drivers. This accomplishes a couple things. First of all, if you're having a problem and you boot into safe mode and the problem goes away, well then you know that it's something with your configuration, or more likely even it would be one of your drivers is causing the problem. But the second thing it does is it gives you an opportunity to get in and potentially remedy the issue. Since sometimes you can't remedy it without running in that safe mode, you know without safe mode you may be in just a very locked up state and you don't have any functionality. Now in Windows 11 there are a number of different ways we can get into safe mode and I'm going to show you just a few of them. The first one I'd like to show you is using the system configuration. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to right click on start. Okay, so I'm going to use the right mouse button to click on start. And I'm going to go to run and then in the run window we're going to type in ms. Config. That is the executable to get into system configuration. Click OK. And then here in the system configuration window we want to go to the boot tab and under the boot options we'll see there's a checkbox for safe boot. Now it defaults to just a minimal safe boot, which is your most basic safe mode, and we are going to leave it at that, but there are some other more advanced options we could get into. But to just show you this, I'm going to go ahead and click OK and it says I need to reboot to apply these changes. So I'm going to click restart. I do want to tell you that while this is restarting, you're going to see what might look concerning. Like for instance here it says session was disconnected, reconnect. You also see a blue background here. That's because I'm running a virtual machine and so the virtual machine is rebooting and the window is changing resolution and whatnot. Let me go ahead and just ask to reconnect. And you can see that it is in the process of booting back up again. Okay, so it has rebooted. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I'd like you to notice a few things. Number one, it says it looks like you're not connected to the internet. That's actually true because in basic safe mode you have no networking. So I'll just go ahead and close that message. Beyond that, you'll see here that you have the word safe mode in the corners of this black box, which is the desktop. Speaking of the desktop, you'll notice that the resolution has changed because you're using the most basic device drivers, and so that's why you're still seeing some blue here in the background from my actual PC that I'm working on. But the virtual machine is what has the changed resolution. So now I do want to mention speaking of that changed resolution. It actually pushed the taskbar with start menu and everything outside of my recording dimensions. Here I will mention about clicking on start, but you may not see me do it. Again, I apologize, there's really nothing else I can do to get it in the recording window here, but I do want to show you another way to get into a safe mode. Alright, and that is if I do click on start. So here this opens up the start window. And then I'm going to go to settings. And in the settings, I am going to scroll down to recovery. And when I click on recovery, you'll see here there's an option for advanced startup. This is another way that we can get into safe mode. So I'm going to click restart now. And it says we'll restart the device. So make sure you save your work. All right, because we're rebooting. That's fine. Restart now. Now this time it's going to do something a little bit different during the reboot. And by the way, I know that I was already in safe mode, but I'm still showing you these are the other methods to get into safe mode, even if we weren't. Okay, so now you'll see here we get into this advanced startup menu and I am going to. I can either choose to continue, which just means it'll go right back into Windows 11. I can turn off the computer, I can boot off of a specific device, or I could troubleshoot, which is what I want because I want some advanced options. So I'm going to click on troubleshoot. And then again I'm going to go into advanced options. I don't need to reset the PC right now, so I will click advanced options. And then you'll see here there's an option. There's a number of options, but one of them is startup settings. So I'm going to click on the startup settings. And it says you can restart to change certain window options such as and there's a whole list of things you can do, one of them being safe mode, right right here, enable safe mode. So I'm going to click restart. You'll see here that we have our options and you'll notice that we actually have three safe mode options. They're numbers 4 to 5 and 6. 4 is enable safe mode. That's just regular safe mode, just like we did through the system configuration. 5 is enable safe mode, but with networking. 
So now if you know that your network driver is not the problem and you may need to get on the internet to solve your problem, you want to do safe mode with networking. And number 6 is enable safe mode with command prompt, which is a way of bringing you into safe mode, but without any graphical user interface. Okay, just from the command prompt only. So again, just keep things simple and to the point, I'm going to go ahead and select number 4. Okay, you can't see me do it, but I'm hitting 4 on the keyboard. You don't click on it. And when I do, it's going to go ahead and it's going to boot me in. To safe mode. And what we should see is exactly what we saw when I booted into safe mode the previous time. So the system has booted. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once again, not connected to the internet. We have the goofy resolution. It says safe mode everywhere. Now the final way that I'm going to show you is again, if you were to click on start and then you'll notice in the lower right there's a power button. I'm going to click on power and then I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard. Again, you cannot see me doing it, but I'm holding the shift key and then I'm going to click restart while holding the shift key. And what that does, as you'll see in just a moment here, is it brings us right back into the advanced startup menu where I can go ahead and I can troubleshoot advanced options, startup settings, restart. And once again, I get right back to the startup settings where I can go ahead and I can enable safe mode. So I will hit number 4. And that's going to bring us into safe mode. Now while this is rebooting, I do want to tell you that once you're in safe mode, most of the time all it takes to get out of safe mode is simply to do a regular reboot of the computer, but other times. That is not going to do the job. And in this case, I know for a fact it's not going to do the job. And the reason is because I used the system configuration tool. And when you use that system configuration tool, it tends to leave things in a perpetual state of booting into safe mode. So to get out of it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on the start menu again, click on run. Type in ms. Config. Go to the boot menu. You'll see the box is still checked for safe boot, so we want to go ahead and uncheck that box. Now besides unchecking the box before I leave this screen, I do want to show you that you remember there were the three modes of safe mode, right? There was safe mode. There was safe mode with networking. Well that would be if you did safe boot and then also click the button for network. And then there was the safe mode command prompt. Well that would be the checkbox over to the right a little bit here where it says no GUI boot. Okay, so just kind of showing you how you can do those things from the system configuration. But now that I've cleared the box, I'm going to click OK. And I'll go ahead and restart. And this time it should go through a restart process and then get us right back into normal regular Windows 11 without any safe mode. Now you can already tell even without me logging in that we have our full resolution, so that's a good start. If I go ahead and log in. You can see that I once again have my full desktop available to me and so I'm back in normal mode and oh, and it also doesn't say safe mode in the corners anymore. Okay, so that is how we can use safe mode to help troubleshoot Windows 11 problems.